In this video, we're gonna talk about seven things that I regret not getting sooner. And the last one probably made the biggest difference in my photography compared to anything else that I've purchased. So we're gonna go over some accessories that you might not always think of, but I really wish that I had bought these much sooner than I did. And at the end, I'm gonna give you a little bonus recommendation as well. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the L bracket. So everyone always tells you, you need a tripod, but what you don't hear a lot about is how useful this guy is. The L bracket is basically a tripod mount where you can mount it on the bottom so you can have the normal tripod mount. And then without having to adjust the tripod or move anything around, you just take it off and switch it to portrait mode and you can shoot vertical without having to change your composition to move your tripod or do anything like that. If you've ever had to adjust your tripod so that you had to move it down to the side to get a vertical shot, then you will love having one of these. If you haven't grabbed one of these L brackets, especially if you shoot landscape photography, you definitely need to have one. This particular one is made by Three-Legged Thing. It's called the Ellie for obvious reasons, and uh, Three-Legged Thing names all their gear after people's names. So uh, there's a few reasons I like this one. One, it gives you the option of getting it with the uh, the Peak Design mount, and I use their their clips so you can clip it onto your belt, and uh, I think that you know that's helpful. But also, I I like that it's adjustable and it's more or less a universal L bracket. So for the longest time, I always got L brackets that were designed specifically for the camera. But as I you know changed cameras and added more cameras to my kit that became really annoying. So it's nice to have an L bracket that you can adjust and basically fits any camera perfectly. Also, I like the orange color because it makes it harder to lose. The next thing we're gonna talk about is extra batteries. And this one may seem obvious, but especially if you shoot mirrorless, you're gonna need more of these than you think you do. And I'm gonna give you a couple tips. Uh, this particular one was an aftermarket brand. It's not the main, I use, I use Nikon cameras and it's not a Nikon battery. I got a cool uh, package with two, uh, two batteries and a charger, double charger, and um, they're okay. This one is uh, BM. I don't, I don't know, I've never heard of the brand, but it seemed like it got good reviews. And I will say that it does not last as long as the Nikon branded battery, but maybe like 80, 85% of the duration. So uh, if it's a lot cheaper and you can get him in a package like that, maybe it's a good deal. I, I think from now on, I'm probably gonna stick just to the, uh, the main uh, branded batteries, but get more of these than you think you need. You'll thank me later. And kind of on the same lines as the batteries are these guys. Now I have a ton of these, the SD cards. And the reason you need more than you think is not because they run out or, or you ran, ran out of space. I mean, this one's a 64 gig. I could probably fit thousand or maybe, well, maybe a thousand pictures. I don't know about with the, the D850 or something like a Z8, but uh, you can fit more than you probably need on most SD cards and they're relatively cheap. The reason you need more than you think you need is one, they are very easy to lose. Two, uh, they do fail sometimes. So having two, three, or even four, anytime you go out is always a good idea. I'm constantly leaving SD cards in the computer after I loaded the pictures onto Lightroom and then going out and not having the SD card in my camera until I just bit the bullet and bought like five or six of them so that even if I forget to put it back in my camera, I always have at least three in the bag. So like batteries, you need more of these than you think you do. You may wanna consider at least two or three of them. And for the fourth one, we're gonna get into one that you may not think is that obvious, and that is one of these guys. This is a Wacom tablet. There are a few different brands. Uh, so far, I've found Wacom to be the best. I've actually had this one for years now, and uh, I've actually ran out, of, you know, had to replace the tip a few times on the pen and it still works great. If you do any sort of photo editing, Lightroom, Photoshop, or any other software, being able to draw instead of use your mouse is a tremendous advantage and will give you much better results 
than if you just use the mouse. Uh, these again aren't that expensive. Uh, I don't know. I think you know you can get one of these now for under a hundred bucks. So I highly recommend for your editing that you pick up one of these Wacom tablets. Accessory number five that I wish I got sooner is this. This is a box of lens wipes. There's 220 of them in here. And I get maybe one of these boxes every year. And that's because these are amazing. They are um, designed just for lenses so that you, you know, I think there's alcohol in them and they're individually wrapped. So you can you use them once, toss them in your bag and throw them away and uh, they work great. They don't leave streaks. They're designed for lenses in a way that, you know, uh, you don't get the same result from using like a microfiber towel because these have the moisture kind of built in. So I've gotten some great results with these. I use them for, uh, now I use them for my phone, for my glass, sunglasses, glasses. I basically use these things for everything. That's why I get such a big box of them every time. This is one of the most useful purchases for photography and really life that I've ever made. So uh, this big box, this is from Zeiss and uh, it's really, a, I don't know how much they're going for now, but it's a pretty good deal. Look these up, you can find them. I'll throw a link in the description along with everything else. Number six on the list are some, uh, it's basically a two for one here. These are some things that make my life a lot easier. And that is these uh, Peak Design straps and clips. And let's let's show you the uh, the clip first. This actually attaches to your belt, so that when I'm going to grab the uh, the camera back here, when you are doing something and you need to put your camera down, but there's nowhere to put it down, this actually just let's see if we can get that it just hooks on there, and then this is hanging from your belt just like that, and it's. Uh, got a little button that releases it so it doesn't just fall off when you're walking. Uh, I use this when I'm doing family portraits. I use it when I'm out on my own shooting landscapes and all kinds of stuff here. It is one of the most useful little accessories that I've ever bought and uh, it's pretty solid. These are pretty good. They, they clip on your belt. They clip on... Um, if I have a backpack, I clip it right on the chest on the backpack and you can hang your camera like this. Um, and kind of the, going along with that, Peak Design also makes a really good camera strap. The reason I like it so much compared to other straps, it's really not anything special. The strap itself, it's like seatbelt material, so it's it's pretty solid. It's not going to go anywhere. But you got these these fellas here, and the way that works is that you attach these to your camera, and the other thing it has is, is this little guy you can attach in the tripod mount on your camera so you can have a strap attached to the base of the camera and to the side so your ha camera hangs sideways which i really like let's see if we can demonstrate this these little guys actually clip into the strap like that and then when you want to take them out or take off the strap or not use the strap anymore you just put your thumb on here and you pull them out like that so you can take this strap on and off of your camera very easily. I find that tremendously useful, especially if you sometimes use a tripod or if you don't always wanna have the camera around your neck, sometimes you wanna put it back in the bag and you don't wanna leave the strap on it, or you just wanna put it down. I highly recommend both the, the Peak Design clip and the Peak Design strap. And the last accessory and the one that has made a tremendous difference in opening up many different types of photography that you really just can't accomplish without these are lens filters. And you can get a uh, circular polarizer and an ND filter. Those are the two most useful ones. Uh, skip the UV filter that comes with, you know, like they try to sell you when you buy a new camera or a new lens. The only time you'll ever really get any use out of those is if you're shooting somewhere where there's you know, sand blowing or, or water, salt water splashing, and you really just want to keep the front of your lens element from being in the elements. Uh, but other than that, you know, the, the CPL, the circular polarizer and the ND filter are definitely the most useful things that you can add to your photography kit, let you, uh, you know, cut down glare, you can shoot long exposures, you can shoot shallow depth of field portraits in the middle of the day when you otherwise can't. So being able to control the amount of light that comes into your lens 
and get rid of glares and things like that makes a massive difference. And these are things that you really can't accomplish digitally. And the filters that I recommend are kind of brand new to the market. They're called Maven filters. And there's a few reasons why I absolutely love these filters when I got to try them out. Uh, first of all, they're magnetic, so they pop on and off. They're not the first magnetic ones I've used, but they are the strongest magnets. So that makes a big difference, especially if you're shooting in areas where, you know, a dropped filter means it goes into the water or something like that. Having those strong magnets in front is a huge advantage. Also, they're color-coded, and I don't know why no one thought of this before, but being able to just look into the filter case and know exactly which one is which, which uh, strength ND filter, or whether it's the CPL filter, just by the color of the frame of the filter is a huge advantage. It's a huge time saver and it makes things a lot easier. It also prevents you from getting accidental fingerprints on like all your lenses as you're flipping through them, trying to look for the right one. So I can't recommend the Maven filters enough. They are a little pricey compared to some of the other filters, but they are among the highest quality I've ever used. And again, the, the ease of use and just the functionality of these filters is tremendous. And I know I promised a bonus recommendation here and the reason I didn't put it in the top seven is because it's not maybe an accessory. And that is the lens. So if you're looking for a new lens and you're not sure what focal length you wanna pick, then check out this video. That's gonna answer your questions.